Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. What does guardian ad litem mean? A guardian ad litem is an individual appointed by a court to protect and represent the interests of someone who is unable to take care of themselves. This typically involves minors or individuals determined to be legally incompetent. Role and Responsibilities The primary role of a GAL is to act as an investigator for the court, gathering information and making recommendations based on what is best for the person they are representing. In family law cases, this often involves disputes over child custody, child support, adoption, divorce, and visitation rights. The GAL speaks with the child, parents, and other relevant parties and may request additional evaluations such as psychological assessments or drug screens. Appointment and Jurisdiction GALs are appointed by the court, often in cases where there are serious allegations of abuse or neglect, or when the best interests of the child are at stake. The appointment can be made without the consent of the parties involved. State and local laws regulate the qualifications, training, compensation, and duties of GALs, which can vary significantly. Specific duties. A GAL's duties include investigating the situation, monitoring the parties involved, and making a report to the court with recommendations. They may also help the person they represent access necessary services and work out agreements that protect their rights. For example, in housing court, a GAL might help a person resolve their case by negotiating with the landlord and ensuring necessary repairs are completed. Financial aspects. The costs associated with hiring a GAL can be split among the parties involved, such as the parents in a family law case. In some cases, the fees can be waived based on financial need, and the court may order the fees to be paid from a guardianship estate, if applicable. Limitations and scope. A GAL does not have the authority to manage the personal affairs of the person they represent. Their role is limited to the specific case for which they were appointed, they cannot sign documents or make decisions on behalf of the person without the court's approval. Working with a GAL When working with a GAL, it is important to cooperate fully, providing necessary documents and information. The GAL may conduct home visits to assess the living environment and interactions between the child and caregivers. They will present their findings and recommendations to the court, which will then make the final decision. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning in to our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.